Every athlete knows the choice between two pains, that of discipline and that of regret. That choice is rarely simple or easy or even all that gratifying. For redshirt freshman Brenton Nelson, he knows this dichotomy well. The safety from Miami by way of Maryland has always pursued excellence despite the difficult path. After leading the state of Florida in interceptions as a sophomore, Nelson and his mother moved north in order for Brenton to pursue academic and athletic opportunities at DeMatha Catholic in Hyattsville, the first in a series of choices that would place him closer to achieving his lofty aspirations. DeMatha is one of the better schools in the nation academically and athletically, so it wasn't too hard of a choice. In Florida, we were doing more of like county and like in-state stuff. And then when I went to DeMatha, it was more like national ranks. So we went against people from everywhere. And in the football field, like there was a lot more talent. I was like, <laughs> sheesh. I've always like worked harder than the other jumpers and I wanted to break records and I wanted to win in competition and things like that. When it came to football, I was always like seen as too small and like, I wouldn't be able to do this or do that, and that irritated me. So I worked harder than most people. I had to, I had to have that fire in me. Nelson starred in both the classroom and on the field and track at DeMatha. The All-American jumper's pure athleticism caught the attention of Virginia assistant track and field coach, Mario Wilson. He would commit to the Cavaliers for track with an eye on continuing his football career as a walk-on. I first became aware of Brenton literally at a track meet. At the time I was recruiting a young lady from Elizabeth Seton, which is DeMatha's sister school, Coach Antoine. He also was a jump coach at DeMatha and he said, I have a young man who you know, I think could do very well at UVA. He was definitely on the radar at that point. From the very beginning, I also knew that football was, was the sport that you know, he loved to do and that was the primary reason why he ended up at DeMatha in the first place. While he was on his official visit, you know, I actually had him go in and introduce him to our football coaches. I had previously been kind of touting about his abilities and said, this is a really, really explosive athlete. If he's at the Matha and he can do these things on the track, I felt that he probably could help us. Nelson's arrival on grounds was as low key as the defensive back's recruitment, but a perfect representation of his no-nonsense work ethic. The day that he, he arrived and you know, he, he got into Charlottesville and he was like, hey coach, I'm at the, the Greyhound station, I, you know, I need to get to get to grounds. Terrified. <laughs> I came down on a Greyhound bus with two suitcases and a duffel bag and a book bag. Between injuries last year, I was with the, the scout team. When the off season came, I just, I worked. I worked and worked and worked. I studied my plays, I worked with Quinn. I worked with Quinn a lot. I had to put on the weight, learn the plays, stay healthy. Brenton rededicated himself to football in the spring of 2017. The move paid off, landing him not only a scholarship, but a starting position in the defensive backfield. His quiet confidence, I mean, I think he really believes in his abilities. And I think being successful definitely helps those things. I was a defensive back too in college, so I mean, not every defensive back is gonna be a, maybe a rah-rah type, type guy. You're gonna have your quiet leaders as well. And I think he, in time, will definitely potentially be a, a quiet leader in, in that backfield. I came in with the intent to start, but then it's like when you actually get the job, it's like, you're starting now, like you're here, you made it, but then, you can't just bank on, you know, like you made it, you're starting. You have to have, like, excel at starting now. There's always another step, always another, another gear, another phase that we can turn on as a defense. We're a good defense, but we have the potential to be great. So it's just pushing the limits and trying to be great. By knowing what he did, what he had to put himself through, as a senior in high school, just to get here, I knew that he was gonna make it here because you know, work ethic is really what it comes down to. If you get admitted to any university, I believe that once you're there, then it's really up to you. You can choose to, 
to be very successful if you really put your mind to it. And, and you know, he's he's a, literally a true student athlete. Brenton Nelson has picks in back-to-back -back games.